Good morning. We're looking at example 6 out of section 7.2, the fundamental theorem of calculus in business calculus with Excel. This section concerns the fundamental theorem of calculus and says that if we define an area function as the definite integral over some base function little f of x, we can use that to compute a definite integral. We'd like to be able to construct these area functions and we're going to do that with Excel using Riemann's sums. In this example, we'll look at little f of x being cx squared and find that the area function capital F of x is c over 3x cubed. As we did in the last time, we're going to use the midpoint rule. We've set up the section. There's a low x, a high x. c is 1, and so I'm looking at x cubed. My interval width is going to be the end minus the beginning divided by 100. This is very similar to what we've done before. xn is the starting point plus n times the interval width. The midpoint is coming back half an interval. f of x is c times the midpoint squared. The area is the height, f of x, times the width. And the summed area adds up the areas of the rectangles for the first n rectangles. When we look at that, we've plotted 100 points. And it gives us what the area function should be. We claimed it should be c over 3 times x cubed. To make life easier, we're going to make c3, and so we have the right coefficient. Notice there are coefficients for x squared, x, and the constant, but they're all small numbers that are trying to be zero. If we do a smaller interval so that our rectangles are thinner, notice that the coefficients outside of the leading coefficient are getting smaller higher negative exponents so that for thin cases it really does turn into x cubed and if I pick a different c like 9 my leading coefficient is going to be c over 3 if for example I do 18 it changes to 6 notice these numbers are dead on Again, these are trying to be zero. If I make thinner rectangles, the coefficients of everything except the lead gets smaller and smaller values. So what this tells us is that c over 3x cubed does seem to be the area function for cx squared. Thank you.